World Champion Exhaust SC Project. So there's the carbon fiber cover. Plastic paper. A couple of clamps, some kind of bracket, two, three clamps, some bolts. And some instructions. A big box. And this is the piece we want to see. Nice. Short. I can see through these things. There's two size tubes. Those look to be well, I guess the tubes themselves that connect are the same, but the diameter of them looks smaller on one. So you can see clean through these. There. All right, I'm going to start by removing that exhaust valve cover. Next up, we have to get down to this clamp and this clamp from underneath. And you need a long extension and you need a deep well socket to get to that. So let's go ahead and see about doing that. The muffler is still pretty hot right now, but I can loosen up the bolts. It's also a 10 millimeter from the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but up underneath that's another one. Yep, it's turning the nut. There we go. Before I completely remove those nuts, I want to get a pair of gloves on. Because it's going to... I don't need the gloves. Nope, don't need the gloves. Alright, so there's a nut and a washer. Those are off. This bolt. And uh, should be able to wiggle it off now. There's the muffler. So you can see through the top hole, not the bottom, I guess it's just a different angle. Yeah, you can see through the top, not the bottom. So this new one is a little freer flowing. I'm sure it's a lot lighter.
Well, I guess I'll do that. I'm going to go get a scale and weigh them. So I have a kitchen scale. I don't know if it'll hold up to all this weight. But let's see what happens. This says 6.988 pounds. All right, let's try this baby. 3.296 pounds, and don't forget we got this cover. 3.386 pounds. So, uh, 3.3 versus 6.988. Uh, it's 3.6 pounds difference. And I guess once you add that bracket in, maybe not quite 3.6 pounds, but gives me a good idea. I'm shaving off three pounds. Yeah get another 10 miles an hour out of her so I'm gonna look over the uh, instructions a little bit came with some stickers two or three and some warnings there's all the hardware make sure the vehicle is firmly on a stand to prevent accidental drops make sure that the engine and exhaust system are completely cold well we'll get close to that check that all the components necessary for assembly are present Always use the tightening torch provided by the vehicle manufacturer. Do not install the exhaust system on a motorcycle on which it has not been tested. If during the first ignition the product should emit smoke, do not be afraid. It will stop after a few minutes. Always check that there is a distance of at least 10 millimeters between the silencer and the parts of the motorcycle. I assume they mean the tire. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. <laughs> the instructions uh, show both of these clamps this direction with the bolts facing out so uh, I guess I'll try to slip that on right now bolts facing out bolts facing out Clamp on the ground, bolts facing out, and that's on. Can it go on any further? Who knows? Yes, it can. And once I get that, I think what I'll do is uh, this has the, the, the bolt has a head that's supposed to be put on, it covers the uh, the Allen bolt. Let's see if I can line that up here. Maybe it needs to come up a little bit. Alright, that's through. Wow, that's a long ass bolt. I don't think it needs to be that long. How much was the original one? Alright, so the original bolt is a whole lot shorter. The original muffler bolt was a lot shorter. I wonder if that'll do it. Even if it doesn't have this black nubby thing sticking out. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'd be a lot cleaner. So I'm just finger tightening these clamps. Got them pretty good. Left a little bit of overrun on this side of each of them. Covers all the flanges really nice. Uh, easy to get to the way they're shaped. I'm glad they're pointed out. That's easier. That bolt like was way too long. Uh, they say make sure you got enough clearance. I see uh, an inch of clearance minimum over here. All the way around plenty of clearance I'm all good with that now let's see how that shield fits on before I do any more tightening also before I go any further I'm gonna spritz this with a bit of silicone spray
Whenever I pull that cover off, I always find a little bit of sand and dust up in here. So a little silicone oil won't hurt it. Just use some of this stuff. So these will need to be torqued down before I put the cover on. We got this one, the, the exhaust valve cover back on. This seems like it's going to fit okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and torque down these bolts. So those are torqued down pretty good. We got them to where they didn't want to move a whole lot more and put another quarter to a half turn on them. When I wiggle this, nothing moves here at all. This flange all looks to be tight from the bottom to the top. Looks to be really tight on the pipe. Should be fine. So time to so figure there's out. the exhaust. I like it. I like it. So let me uh, go ahead and put this camera up here real quick. There might be some smoke. It says don't worry about it if there is, because it's uh, it'll burn off. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna start the computer recording. I'm gonna turn on the decibel meter. I'm gonna fire up the bike.
going up to about 90 to 95 decibels when I get up to like four to 6,000 RPM. All right, going to shut down. Key fog green. Quick start, no About to go do the ride. Hopefully get this up to speed a little bit. Have to beware of police officers and such. Oh, so I got the All right. See if it'll start. I noticed the other day with the computer running it wouldn't. It did this time. Very nice. Plug in my camera is on the bike. All right, it powered up and working. Activated.
I tried getting some high quality audio using a laptop and a desk microphone, but the quality was not very good. I got a lot of chain and wind noise as well as a bunch of static. Even after trying to edit the audio, it was unusable. So all the audio in this video is from my GoPro. It turns out the SC Project CRT muffler is about 10 decibels higher throughout the rev range. The OEM muffler is 81 to 83 decibels at idle and 91 to 95 decibels at 5000 RPM. The SC Project CRT is 91 to 93 at idle and 101 to 105 at 5000 RPM. It's a deeper tone and you can hear a bit of burbling under deceleration. I'm pleased with it, but it's not the deep down belly growl I'd hoped for. The SC Project muffler comes with a certificate of sound check. I think that means it's a street legal muffler. So as of this moment, I believe all the modifications are done that I'm going to do. I may end up doing a flash on the computer or possibly have it remapped uh, to make it a little richer maybe and have that limiter disabled. So I think I've got all the carbon fiber I want. Like I say I wish that was a little shinier, but yep, it is what it is, and it definitely is. I like it. I like it. Looks to me better than the old uh, big silver muffler.